we have inconsistent kerning, bad spacing, different fonts. I'm sorry, but I'm charging you for war crimes. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jacob Knight. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be roasting my city's paper. But before we get to that, I just want to lay down some background information. Okay, so this is a Greenleaf Guardian, which is a recent news publication that is not based in Whittier, however, it is about the Whittier area. Now, of course, what I'm saying here is all just my opinion, but just to give you a little background, I am uh, a winner at JACC, which is the Journalism Association of Community Colleges. I have won awards for my layouts in magazines and newspaper and editorial ship, as well as awards in writing. So before we judge this thing, what is this? This is a weekly paper every Friday, um, and it basically is just Whittier. It's well, it will, it will have fun factoids of, like, what day was it today, like, in the past, what holiday, but this is mainly about Whittier. Now, this paper is about a couple weeks old, as of the recording of this video, and this is the size, Greenleaf Guardian, it has the weather, and this is, I want to say 8 by 17 I'm, I'm terrible with glancing and seeing uh, font si uh, uh, paper sizes. But what we're going to do is that we're going to judge this paper on three separate aspects. One, layout. Is everything consistent? Are your fonts uh, repeated throughout for only certain things? Is uh, the, every caption have photo credit? Things like that. So that's the first thing. Second thing we're going to judge is on content. And then uh, content being story-wise, any art, photos, etc. And third is just going to be uh, a bit more, less um, educational and more just the general vibe. Like, does this paper give off a friendly mood when you read it? Do you enjoy it? So we're, I'm going to go through this really quickly and we're just going to, I'm going to mark everything down and we're going to look at it together and see what's up with the Greenleaf Guardian. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get a thumbnail. Ah, oh, I hate it. Let's, let's just get to it. Okay, so just to let you guys know that not only have I had my, you know, knowledge stemming from academia, I also have worked at the Montebello Reporter. I've uh, seen the ins and outs, and I, I have field experience as well. So just to establish that. The front page, I have some issues with. When you know the folds of your paper, you know that you need to move this headline above the image because you know the fold is going to fold right on it and you don't want that because it just breaks up the the layout of the story. Now you see I've marked up here, this is empty space and there's a hang off two words. Well, if you just made this caption font size a little bit smaller, just make the, the font size a little bit smaller and you push the image down and have this on top and you fix the size of the font, then you're fine. Also, none of these, were, only the first word is capitalized. Every one of these should be capitalized. Uh, the, there's no caption for this photo whatsoever. Empty space right here. If you just made this a little bit bigger and brought dropped these down a little bit, you would be able to fill this space. And I understand having this open because you want to um, have some spacing so it's not uh, too suffocated and clustered right here, but I think this should have been pushed up at least a little bit. Uh, Whittier police officers get bonuses to stay. Um, these these articles are, mm, aside from a few words that I think aren't exactly the best, they're, they're mostly unbiased, just reporting the information. However, just the structure of some of them, not writing-wise, but layout-wise. Uh, as you can see, there are breaks within the paragraphs like this that uh, are kind of just there to uh, make more, uh, to expand the article. So you need to cut these little spaces out as well as um, both of these articles. This is more of a PSA, I guess, uh, but both of these articles end on a quote. And I, I, I can say it's a writing choice, but I particularly don't enjoy ending with quotes. You wanna end on, uh, <laughs> You want to end on some sort of you want to end on some sort of kicker which 
is more less of a quote and more of a what's to come like for example this is ended with a quote from the pastor or whatever instead of ending with a quote it should have ended maybe with something more long as i've where they meet like if the reader is interested in what this group is doing there's no contact information here for them to read they'd have to go the extra step online and look up whatever it is and maybe if they misspell or get distracted so uh, just adding what like the next they meet every friday and then they, they have a, they have they have not had any future plans on the docket you know if you just add that extra little paragraph then that really closes the sentence instead of leaving it kind of open-ended like this quote does and the same thing for this one so uh this side is fine uh i think i would drop the uh weather down but that's just me that's just personal taste um okay so that's for the first page and uh we're here on the second page and we have more of the spacing issues i said earlier where if you just make the font size for the subheader bigger or kind of just rearrange like if you center this it will you'll have some uh, space on the edge of the title but at least it'll look better than this weird uh, like L sh shape uh, right here there's another little spacing and the story itself none of these are particularly written badly they're all very decently and good uh, I was about to say goodly like an idiot they're all decently and well written it's just that the spacing is just what annoys me there's a space you should have a space for every uh, quotation what there is but then there's a space for like every other sentence which is just you need to group things together just so that I feel like it would flow better and then uh, these ads are fine but look right here they put uh, they framed this ad however they didn't frame this one you see there's a black line around this one but they don't have it here so that's an inconsistency in the image framing look and there's one right here and right here oh, nothing right there which is a shame and then here it's just more of that spacing issue where uh if it just works on the, the, the font size and perhaps rearranged the uh how the story is laid out because if we look back to the second page how many columns are there? there's two columns here but then you go to this one and there's three columns so I'm wondering uh, what spacing size, because when you put it out in, I'm not sure what program they're using, but just from what I've seen in InDesign, when you have uh, the box is set up and you're using those as the guidelines for your story, sometimes when you translate how many boxes are on one page to another, the inconsistency between the sizes can really show. And I can't really tell, but these fonts are the same, but just the way they're set up is kind of irking to my eye. Like either have so many columns on every page or only have them if you have them wildly different then that's upsetting so I'd rather have three for each page rather than two three because on the first page let's go back to the first one how many how many how many boxes do we have one two three four five and we can count this one as six so six lines then we go down to two and then we go down back up to three and it's just it, the, the inconsistency of how the stories are kind of laid out are not necessarily bad but i prefer them to be consistent throughout the entirety of the layout so this is just a little off-putting to me but i wouldn't call it necessarily bad uh we go down here there's more spacing issues and this is interesting uh just going over the stories themselves they uh aren't badly written these are well written i thought this was the most interesting if i had to choose one which is about somebody writing in telling saying that the editor that the way they worded something was incorrect and perhaps uh undermining the issue so i thought that was interesting i review these two pages together because they aren't necessarily stories they're more so just uh you have comics you have what's on your mind i love these little what's on your mind uh this is all laid out pretty well in my opinion Aside from the fact that um, this does not match this, you see how this box is a little bit higher than this one, and I would have appreciated. It. Look here, right here is the, is the title, and then if you just brought this all down a little bit, or just uh, pushed it down just a tiny bit, then it'd be in line with this, which is nice. Uh, 
I can see uh, right here the obituaries. This is cool. I appreciated the uh, that everything here is every box, every image box has a frame, which is great. A giant advertise. This is the type of thing you put when you don't have a story or you have nothing to put. So you say just put an advertisement. These at the same time. This is pages uh, six and seven. Now this right here, Whittier sees progress in battle against homelessness. I am assuming that this is an opinion story because the opinion section started over here and since this separates it, this is opinion as well. It's not entirely clear, but what I have, would have done is that move this to this page so that it's clearly and distinctly still a part of opinion and then move this to the back. So this would be kind of the end cap to the paper aside from the back page. And then let's just go into this whole story. I'm not going to really, it's fine. It's, it's, uh, it has information. You can read it yourself and make up your own mind, but I'm just going to say right now, I think it's fine. It's a very fact heavy story. And in fact, I think this would have made a very interesting opinion, uh, story layout. And what I mean by that is if it had been, uh, if you just rearranged a little and added more photos, that would have been great. And what I mean by that is like, here, this is just another, uh, space holder. Here is another space holder, more sports photos. There's no sports on this page. What's up with that? Like th that's odd wording, but we'll get to that later. This could have been a wonderful photo story if you had just brought some of these down and added more photos. You guys, whoever's working the paper should have uh, a bunch of stock photos of whatever this story is about. And if you just place a couple more and highlighted some of the parts of what they're talking about in the story, and that would have been a great photo story. But instead, it's just so much words. It's just that you get lost in it. Like there's so much text here that unless you're highly invested in the topic, you're just gonna be, you're just gonna be really confused. And once again, just to go back to how the words are laid out, how many um, columns are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. There's an inconsistency in how the columns are laid out in the paper. And it's kind of starting to irk me. It's irking me just a little bit. And it's just, it's not bad. It's just the fact that it's not consistent throughout the whole layout is just starting to get to me. Uh, I like the caption, it's fine. Uh, I wish I had a more recent story, uh, not story, I'm sorry. I wish I had a more recent photo because this is apparently 2019. Um, it's framed, which is great. We still have spacing right here and a little bit right here. Uh, and that's kind of all I have to say uh, about this page, really, aside from some spacing. Okay. This uh, page, you have finally have some ads, which is great. Let's all get more ads. <laughs> But uh, look, here's more spacing issues in the title. And if you notice something fun right here, you see this caption, new football coach David Cruz stands in football stadium at John Glenn High School. Look at how the space is between the caption and the photo. Now let's look at the page before and the space between the caption and the photo is smaller. So you can see the space between the caption and the photo is inconsistent. Here we go again with the word of the day, which is inconsistent. <laughs> and uh, once again, in this uh, article, you have uh, less word break spaces. Like, see here, these, when our previous head coach, Vince Lebedan, resigned, it was important for us to find, see there, these, this also has these kind of paragraph word spacing but it's not as bad as it is in other uh, articles, so I can kind of forgive it. I wish these um, ads had been spread out a little bit more because it kind of looks like they all got pushed back. Like, why not take these, and if you're going to have this, throw it right here and then have the Whittier Strong in the back. And I think... Uh, that would have been just more efficient in getting your ads out there, especially since uh, these are not all the same size. So it's kind of like a stair step effect. You're going lower and lower, but uh, I'm happy they get ads because for 
local town papers, as are the lifeblood of how they're going to run. So I'm proud of them. What did you think of the Greenleaf Guardian? Uh, I know it's like five dollars to get it delivered to your house every Friday. Uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of my critique? Uh, do you hate me by now? <laughs> do you think that I was wrong with some of the things I pointed on the paper? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And remember, uh, don't like and don't subscribe, but please comment. I'll check you next time.